Hey guys and welcome back to day two of week of human resource machine. Let's, <laughs> let's uh, I probably shouldn't hit 17, I should probably go to 16 because, you know, logical. Absolute positivity. Ahaha, ha. positive attitudes were determined to increase productivity and now they are for mandatory. Smile, management is watching. Send each thing from the inbox to the outbox, but if a number is negative, first remove its negative sign. Okay. Inbox. To the outbox. If it's negative, jump past the outbox. And then what? If it's negative, you want to copy it to zero. And then... Subtract it from zero. And then subtract it from zero? Is that is that gonna work? And then outbox. Fuck. And then Then outbox then jump back to the start. Okay. That is negative, so copy to zero and add it together. There we go. Hey, done it. That was right. Ah, uh, perfect. Hope that's alright. <clears throat> I used nine commands. Great. Ah, uh, done the steps right. Used one extra command though. <clears throat> Interesting. Right. The exclusive lounge, you're 17. <laughs> yes, I've always felt most comfortable with nice, cold, logical decisions. Emotional decisions are for the weak. For each two things in the inbox, send a zero to the outbox if they have the same sign, both positive or both negative, and send a one to the outbox if the signs are different. Repeat until the inbox is empty. Alright, so if we do... Inbox, then outbox. Okay, so you pull something from the inbox, if it's negative... Oh, okay, we need to... If they've got the same sign, both positive or both negative, then send it to the outbox. Okay, so, if you pull something from the inbox, then copy it to zero. Then pull something from the inbox, and then add it to zero. So if you pull a 6 and a 7, and you add them together, it's going to be positive. So then, what you want to do... Uh, if the signs are different, if it's both the same sign, then you send a 0. Okay, so... If you add them both together... and it's not negative, then you can send it to the the output. So if you add a negative 5 and a negative 6, it's got to be negative still. Hmm. So how am I going to check to see if they're both the same sign? Ah. Right, I pull something in and I copy it to zero. That's the that's the first thing because I need to I need to compare them. What have you got to say? Uh, I need to compare them. So if we copy that there, then get the next one from the inbox. So these have obviously got different signs. So if I then add zero, I 
Then F the... Huh. Actually, if I just add... Zero again... No, 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 because if I can stop at negative five... Oh my god! That's not gonna work. This is the challenge, so it's supposed to be a bit tougher, but why is my brain not working? Hmm. You know what I can do, actually? I can do... Inbox, copy to zero. Okay. Uh, Wait a minute. Hmm. Inbox, jump of negative. Inbox. Jump of negative. Copy from. We've got the same sign, zero. And then outbox. Okay. Then that seems that seems like a silly idea. There must be a way to do it. So right, let's inbox copy. It. Then inbox. If I take that away, hmm. Copy from zero. Outbox, copy from one outbox, and then back to the front. Eh, uh, not. Yeah. I don't think this will work, but let's just play it and see what's going on. So. It's positive, so. Yeah, exactly, which is wrong. So that's supposed to be. If you take them away, it's going to end up positive. So it'll be the wrong way. I don't know, let's give this a go. File and error, I suppose, because my brain's just not. Nah, you see. So that works if the first one is negative. I feel like I'm going to end up making this huge. What's the optimization challenge? 12 of your commands. I'm already at 10. <laughs> what? I don't know. How am I missing this? If there was a, a multiply, it'd be easier, I suppose. Hmm. Right, let's just clear clear the solution out, yes. So we want copy from zero, uh, copy from four and outbox. Copy from five and outbox. So how do we how do we work this out? Hmm. So 
if we pull from the inbox. If it's negative. Okay, if this one is negative. Uh. Ah. Right, mm, uh, my brain's not working. Must be a way that I can put both the numbers together. Someone is shouting at the screen right now, absolutely raging at the fact that I can't work this out. So I need to get two numbers, and I need to find out if they've got the same sign, either positive or negative. I can add and subtract, and then if it's zero or if it's negative, I can go somewhere. So if I copy that to zero, then go back to the inbox. Hmm. The thing is, like, I go back to the inbox and then subtract. Subtract that to zero and then if it's negative. Go here. The thing is like that still, that still doesn't work. So I've got six there. It doesn't work out negative. Is that my issue? Okay, it is positive and they're both the same. Okay, what the fuck? Oh, wait. whoops. I feel like there's just something that I'm missing. Okay, so this is different. See, but that's not right. So they're both the same, but you're going to subtract them from each other, which doesn't make any sense. What if instead of that, we add them to each other? But that makes it positive, which means it's going to put a... Huh. Right. So if you add negative 7 to negative 7... Oh jeez. Uh right. Hmm. So if I add negative right, okay. What if we do that? Wait, why to do that? Copy zero, inbox, add, add. If it's negative, you jump past. If not, you copy from four. Why did it keep doing that? Motherfucker, I have no idea. I have no idea. Is this like... Yeah, it was. It was uh, an exclusive... Uh, not exclusive, it's a... Uh, 
An optional one? Yeah, I just, I just can't fucking get it. You give me a hint. Tell me more. The sounds a basic Boolean logic operation. Got XOR. Exclusive OR. All of this new information you may research independently if you like. Fucking tell me about it. But <laughs> that doesn't help me. It probably should help me. Hmm. Well, let's clear this out again. No, actually, let's not. Right, I've got... Not jump of negative and empty hands. Oops. Inbox. If it's negative... Then... Okay, I can do this in a super long way, I guess. So, inbox... <clears throat> if it's negative... Jump to this one. And if this one is negative... Then... Copy from zero. And outbox... Else... Copy from... One... And then outbox. So if that one's negative, it goes and gets another one. And if that one's negative, it copies. If that one's negative, and it's not negative, then it goes. Um, if this isn't negative... Then go... And then if this one is negative, then you go here. But if it's not negative, then you... Copy from zero and outbox, and then go back to the start. That wasn't as long as I expected it to be. Oh, wait, what happened there? Uh, that's what happened there. Okay. Yeah. See, that was that was wrong. Uh. <clears throat> I should have just stepped back through it and seen exactly what was wrong. Okay, so he picks up a nine, and then if it's negative, you jump, but it's not. So it goes into the inbox. And then if that's negative, you jump. Oh no, it's not. It's not to there. That's why you jump to there. Ah, okay, and then that needs to jump back to here. Yeah, there should be three jumps back. It's all after the outboxes. It's fine. That was all ones that time. Right. Okay, use a bit more commands. It does the steps right, but yeah. Wow, we managed to get it. it. Only took me like 19 minutes. Jesus Christ! <laughs> that was that was a lot tougher than I thought. Although my issue there was that I was trying to do it in as little steps as possible instead of just completing the freaking task. <laughs> Fair enough. We guys drink a cup of tea. As you do. What happened to the robots that were surrounding the city? God knows. But that's going to have to do us for this episode. So, as always, thanks a lot for watching. I've been CG, you've been awesome. I'll see you next time. Bye bye.